evening and welcome to Gateways. This is a program that brings you news and information of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I'm Rich Kirkham. And I'm Rod Eggleston. And we've got an exciting show planned for you tonight. We're outside of the Chief Theater here to see the LDS Talent Show. Hey, Rod, this is quite an event now. They've been doing this for three years, you know. You bet, and I understand you've been involved with it a little bit. In fact, you know, you looked really nice tonight, Rich. I have to compliment you. Well, thank how you. How come you're dressed up so nice? Well, this isn't my normal Gateways attire, I'll have to admit. Uh, I'm doing a Darren Adams impersonation tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, what I'm doing here is emceeing the show. And uh, we have three great nights of talent that are, that are coming uh, to perform. And uh, I get the opportunity to introduce each one of these acts tonight. As a matter of fact, I'm about due to go on, but let me just share with you, Rod, some of the great talent we're going to have tonight. Okay. We've got uh, a men's quartet. Uh, Elaine Hoffman's going to do some singing for us. Uh, we got the John Tanner family, and they're excellent musicians. Um, Darren and Christy Adams are going to do a skit for us. All, right. uh, all told, we've got 18 numbers tonight that are going to perform. So I'm going to get inside and get prepared and check on things inside. So I'll bid you farewell and enjoy the show. Okay, thanks. Rich, good luck tonight. We've got with us Art Nielsen. He's kind of the director. And Art, why don't you come on over here and we'll ask you just a few questions. Now, I understand, Art, you've been associated with the program for the last, what is it, three years now? Three years, yes. We started the program three years ago, uh, striving to give budding talent an opportunity to perform in the uh, city here. He starts out originally in the awards where they have a ward talent show, and then they select numbers from the ward talent show. and. Uh, they perform in the stake, and then the best of the stake are the ones that are selected to perform here at the Chief Theater. We have six acts from each stake, so, and there's 10 stakes in town, so that gives us 60 performances uh, divided into three nights, so there's 20 performances a night. My word, that's quite full. Now, I understand that this program was more of a, well, it originally had something to do with the Rotary, is that correct? Well, in the at the first year, the Rotary selected this group to put on a special show so they could raise money for the Simplot Square uh, development. And uh, they haven't had anything to do with it since then, but we raised about $3,000 for the Simplot Square through these same performers. Oh, well, that's super. Now, this is the third year that this program's been going on, Art. How long will this be a, a yearly thing or is it going to be something that's just for the centennial or what is what are the expectations of the show no we hope to continue this for years and years to come because it gives the budding uh, performers an opportunity to display their talents here within our city there are literally hundreds of people out there that uh, have the capabilities of performing here and as they grow and develop we like to give them an opportunity to perform on a citywide base. Oh, that's super. I understand that this program originally started out as a one-night show, and now a two-night, now three. Do you, do you foresee that it's ever going to get any bigger than that? Well, we started out uh, with one night because we had to start from uh, infancy, and then last year uh, we decided we tried uh, two nights, and they were very successful, and so this year we expanded it to three. I doubt if it gets any larger than three. In fact, uh, our plans are that next year we will we will have the show each night divided into two uh, divisions. The first division will be those who are developing their talents, and the second division, which will be after an intermission, will be those who are professional in the city. There's uh, probably two or three hundred people in the city that are very professional type people. Well, that's super. Well, Art, thanks for your time tonight. I'm sure that Pocatello and the citizens here in Pocatello are really in for a great treat tonight here at the Chief Theater. Let's go inside now. This is a group of youth from the Highland State. Boy, you can see that they've really gone through a lot of work to get all those kids to work together. Plus, their costumes are beautiful.
This is Elaine Hoffman. She's going to be singing a spirited American traditional song.
This is the Corrington family. Kind of fun effects with the strobes and the unique costumes that they have to offer tonight. These are fashions of the mid-90s. the show is going great. I just had to sneak out for a minute and introduce you to a good friend of mine, Randy Dixon. Randy, welcome to Gateways. Thank you very much. Now, Randy is the chairman of the Chief Foundation, and he's uh, uh, one of the reasons that things are going so well tonight, because we have a great auditorium and a great stage here at the Chief Theater. Randy, tell us just a little bit about what the Foundation's doing and what you're trying to accomplish, your goals and so on. Well, a lot has happened since 1983 when the building was first recognized as a possible cultural center. Uh, in that period of time, uh, the city has become the owner of the building and uh, the the foundation works in conjunction with them as a manager or uh, we have a management agreement with the city of Pocatello and uh, through the con the joint efforts of the city and the, our board of directors we've we've made a lot of things happen the murals in the lobby are completely renovated uh, we have just received a grant from the Idaho Commission on the Arts and the National Endowment for the Arts for carpet throughout the building uh, we're hoping to technically upgrade the building soon uh, we've been we've painted the entire interior of the building so many many things have happened it, it's been a long slow trail but as we look at it now lots has happened in the last seven years oh it's, it looks fabulous and these people that are coming in now are going to get a taste of that because they, there's nice new seats in there and the uh, i noticed tonight the air conditioning was working and everything's going well i just can't uh, wait to you get your carpet and everything else but i realize too that you need help is that right correct uh, the, the facility actually operates fairly well through rentals. Uh, the rental of the facility pays the actual operating overhead, but that does not have anything to do with the upgrades to the building. So we are in a position where on a yearly basis we need to raise uh, in between uh, twenty dollars and $30,000 a year just to do the upgrades to the building. Uh, eventually the building will be complete and uh, the, the process will be much easier. Uh, then at that point, then the, the operating overhead can simply be derived from the rental of the facility. Uh, hopefully, uh, the number of events that we have will increase as time goes by, but this year we hope to have some 30 events just in the summer months. Terrific. Now, if someone watching Gateways tonight were interested in becoming a member of the Chief Foundation, helping you with what you do here, or in contributing some way, or even using the facility, how do they get a hold of you? Well, in the first place, any questions can be fielded by calling the, the theater. We have an answering machine most of the time, and we are staff from 12 until 4 on weekdays with a volunteer. The telephone number is 232-4433. Uh, secondarily, if anyone is interested in helping us with volunteerism, they can also use that phone number. If someone would like to make a donation, they can mail that donation to The Chief Foundation, Inc. Incorporated, P.O. Box 692. Pocatello 83204. We are 501c3, so those deduction, those uh, uh, donations are tax deductible. Terrific. If you haven't seen the Chief uh, Theater lately, get down and have a look. Well, Randy, I got to get back inside and look at some more great talent. Thank you.
Rich, you've had a great time tonight, seen a lot of great talent. It's been a fun evening. Oh, it was an exciting night. Hey, terrific show, and uh, we've got two more nights of it. Unfortunately, we won't be able to show it all on Gateways, but what we were able to share with you tonight, we hope you enjoyed.
I'm Rod Eggleston. And I'm Rich Kirkham. Next week, we're going to be um, on the Pioneer Day circuit. Actually, we're going to be right on the parade route, aren't we? Oh, oh, that's right. And many of you out there will have a chance to see us and maybe even get interviewed. So thanks for joining us.